project has uh, moved on uh, quite a lot since the last update. The dredging and scour protection work was completed in March. Uh, the Marine Structures Contract uh, Waterways also mobilised the site in March, uh, commenced uh, piling in April after receipt of the piles, and uh, has four work fronts that they're working on. So currently we're uh, installing all the poles for the main wharf. So these are the poles that get driven down at the seabed that support the main structure of the wharf itself. We've got some works going on with precast concrete um, for the headstocks and we've got a piling rig working on shore currently installing all the bollard poles which support the bollards that the ship moors up to. So the wharf poles are driven using a leader mast on the barge to support the pole during the pole driving and they're driven down using a nine tonne hydraulic impact hammer. So the poles are going down up to about 14 and a half metres and it depends on what level we find the, uh, the rock strata. Once we've drilled the poles down to target tow level, we install a camera down the pole to view the um, shaft and make sure that we've got all the material out, all the loose material is uh, clean. We also view some weld beads that we have inside the pile which provide engagement of the concrete uh, that's poured down the shoe. From an environmental perspective, there's been a comprehensive monitoring uh, program put in place uh, uh, watching for whales, particularly while the pole driving activities are underway. We have particular zones where we have to monitor whales and there are particular zones if whales uh, come too close to the site where we must shut the work down. So the activity we're involved in today is validating or, or confirming the amount of sound output at different distances from the pole driving activity. This is just to make sure that our exclusion zones that we're using for these are appropriate for protecting whales and protecting their hearing. So we're using a hydrophone such as this. This is an underwater microphone. And this is a system that's designed to um, pick up sound underwater. So we've actually got a dozen of these at different locations uh, radiating out from the, the pile driving activity and we're able to confirm what sound levels at different distances from, from the activity. Sure, uh, what's next for the project is that once the piling is advanced uh, for the wharf sufficiently, we will then commence the installation of the precast concrete uh, elements and uh, follow that on with the installation of further reinforcement and a cast in situ concrete deck. There are other works that will be going on further out where we have five quite large dolphins to construct. So these dolphin structures, uh, there, there's five uh, on the project, two berthing dolphins and three mooring dolphins. They're, um, they're standalone uh, structures out in the deep water at the end of the break wharf uh, for securing the mooring lines of the, of the cruise ships that come in. So to date I have done five visits to China and expect to do another two. I spend a lot of my time uh, ensuring that the quality standards are being met as per the Australian specification. Um, currently we're expecting the fabrication to finish mid-September and then approximately three week shipping period for them to arrive into Eden.